I'm currently waiting for my uh, call time for my pre-judging. I have my costume on, I have my wig uh, splayed out, and I'm just waiting. Okay, so I just got back from pre-judging. It was really nerve-wracking because I forgetting what I, the process I did, even though I recorded the whole thing and edited it all. They were really nice. Um, we took, uh, I took some extra photos. Crowded, they surrounded me, and I started uh, touching the some parts of my costume, like checking what a material was made from and all that, and how I asking how I made some of the stuff that I made. And uh, now I'm just waiting until six o'clock, and we're gonna go ahead and do rehearsals. Um, basically, just how we're gonna walk off and on stay on and off stage, and make sure that we don't mess that up. Yeah, when it gets closer to that, it's currently like three ten. So whenever it gets closer to that, I'll get some more uh, B-roll shots from the convention, and then I'll keep you guys posted. So we just did uh, rehearsals for the day. I don't want to record um, all the other cosplayers just out of respect. Also, if you see yourself in any of these clips, make sure to comment down below your um, like your tag and everything. I'll make sure to like, try to pin those comments maybe. But yeah, next time you see me, I'll be on stage. So um, wish me luck, guys. Deku. So as you guys probably know by now, I won best in show for a beginner. It's, it was it was weird. It was just weird. Um, I wasn't expecting that because I don't know. I just want to say thank you to all the contestants. We were in the in the waiting room with me. They were very nice to me and they made me feel welcome. This is only my um, second uh, cosplay contest after uh, Kung Palooza, and I, I was. I was I don't know, cause like it's it's that feeling where you just don't feel anything. You're you're both excited, but again, you're like calm, and it's cause, just cause I'm I, I didn't expect to win. So yeah, I don't have the the trophy with me right now. I'm um going to my car now, but uh, I want to say thanks to all of you. If it wasn't for you guys, I, I wouldn't have had to go as far as I did with my costume. So I really appreciate um, all the support I've been getting from you guys. And I want, and just thanks to you, to you, thanks to the, to all the contestants and, and who were in the waiting room with me again, and, not, and also the judges, of course. So thank you all. I'll see you guys tomorrow, day three.
day three, I'm gonna talk closer so that um, uh, you can hear me because I don't have my microphone. But um, uh, it's day three, I'm a Spider-Man Noir. And uh, I didn't really spend too much time. I like, I bought a few things, so I'm gonna show you guys later. Um, but uh, it was just way too hot in this cosplay to be in there. They don't really have the, the AC on that heart. So there's a Christmas tree over here that I'm gonna take some photos at. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do that right now and uh, show you guys the photos later. So here's a layout of most of the things that I got from Anime Frontier. Day one on Friday, which I got to the convention super late because we underestimated how long the drive was. I got this Gear 4 Leo Bazooka Special Edition Monkey D. Luffy. It was a real journey catching up to all the episodes and then catching up to the manga of One Piece, but I'm really glad that I did it. I didn't skip any arcs. And then at Anime Frontier, I saw this and I thought I needed to get it immediately. So. Friday night I went over there to make sure that I got my badge and I saw this and I got him. Super cool. No pun intended. Anyways, for winning the competition, one of the prizes that I got was this iron here. I was actually talking to my mom about getting another iron just to keep here in the shop because for some reason walking over to the laundry room and grabbing the iron that we already have is too much of a hassle for me. And having an iron here, like at Easy Read, is gonna make me more likely to use it whenever I actually need it. So I'm very happy that I got this. Another prize that I got is this Silhouette Cameo 4, or as I like to call him, Senor Pink. I'm actually gonna gift this one to my mom. She was very into this sort of stuff and I think it's fitting to just give her like an upgrade doesn't mean that I'm not gonna use it I might I'm gonna try to find out like what I could get out of this thing and use it to its full advantage I also got this these pins here so this one came in a set but I traded in one of them to get this uh, anime frontier pin me and my brother also got a shirt and with those purchases we were able to get this pin right here which i think is super cool for the competitions we also got these entry grade builds for izuku midoriya and naruto here you can see naruto is already open here because i gifted this one to my brother because he is a very big fan of the series i let him have at it he pretty much built it as soon as we got here and i also got this Izuku Midoriya build, which was very nice and I think there was some thought put into it considering what I entered in the competition with. Now the big boy here. After winning the competition, I was gifted by my dad this RX-78-2 Gundam EFSF prototype close combat mobile suit perfect grade unleashed Gundam. I was very excited. I really wanted this one as, like as soon as it was released ever since Adam Savage built it on Tested. I saw it and I was amazed and then I saw there was a Gundam base over there at the competition as well and you can see you can see one of them on display and I was like and it was sold and then I ended up getting it so that was very exciting. Here is my badge that I entered the competition with. You can see I picked out the bleach lanyard here. Here's a little piece that they attached to the badge just to make sure that I'm able to go into like staff areas that that most people aren't supposed to go into and that we were. And also got I was also gifted this one after I won. Yes I made it and I only cried a little. This was given to me by a fellow cosplayer. If you gave this to me um, I was still, my mind was still hazy, so I don't really remember your face or name. So if you gave this to me, please DM me and I want to thank you again. And then on the back here, you can see there's a little photo of me um, just before walking into pre-judging and with my number, I guess to like help the judges like sort us out a little better. And I'm very grateful that they uh, allowed us to keep them. And then also the, the rock that I got for the competition. Anime Frontier Best Novice Craftsmanship. Again, I'm very grateful to all of you guys and this channel just pu for pushing me to put out 100% of the best of what I can do. If it wasn't for your guys' support, I probably wouldn't have gotten this far yet. So I wanna say thank you 
to you guys for helping me reach this low milestone. And as another thanks, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do a giveaway. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give away this Izuku Midoriya entry grade build. I thought it was very fitting, both as like a little prize for winning the cosplay competition, something that I could do a little giveaway for. So make sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where this giveaway is gonna be held. I'll make a little post for this and that's gonna show all like the rules and regulations I'm gonna be asking for. Thank you guys so much again for helping me reach this milestone. And again, if you saw yourself on any of these clips, make sure to leave your tag in the comment section so that way other people can find you. And thanks again to all the contestants and all the, the judges and the everyone working behind the scenes. And you all made that convention a really great experience for me. So thank you again. And also leave a comment if you have any suggestions on um, cosplays that I could do, because I'm kind of in between cosplays. I still have Captain Rex, Metal Bat, and Dr. Doom in mind, but I'm also interested in seeing what you guys might suggest. But that's it for now. I hope you guys were able to enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever I do. Goodbye.